How's it going, New World? Sephir here, and welcome back to the final part of the leveling guide series. This is going to be talking about 45 through 60. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit a comment if you can. We also have a Discord and a join button, so just a quick reminder on that. Um, but going forward here, we're going to be talking about the home stretch, right? Uh, going from 45 to 60. This is going to be the long haul. This is going to be where you're going to want to start prepping a lot of your quests for the end game, uh, specifically to unlock a lot of these dungeon tuning orbs and starting to really get your gear score into. Uh, action here and a lot of good stuff like that uh, as well as uh, crafting professions that's things you're gonna have to cover over as well uh, so we could talk in game for days right we could talk level 60 stuff for days but let's just talk about like getting to 60 and this guide will be a little different than the last few it's going to be some weird amalgamation of information that we have because uh during the closed beta the, a lot of things were different right when i got to 60 and the open beta i only got to like 49 or something like that because there's only like three days or something total uh, i didn't want to push too hard uh, so there are some things that will be slightly different and I now know like a lot more in terms of like quests and pre setups and stuff like that that you want to get going. Uh, so for this one we're primarily going to be probably taking a look at a map resource here in a second. It's going to be the New World Dash Map uh, resource. I'm sure you've seen us shout it out before but it's a fantastic one. Uh, so I'll put a link to the description below in that and uh, we can also reference a few other things before we kind of dive deep into like the map part and stuff like that. So um, at 45, you should have completed your depths quest uh, storyline at this point. In the closed beta, this was the last quest available to us. So we don't know what actually comes after this, right? We have no idea. Um, no one's seen it. So there's going to be a continuation of that. I would highly recommend you follow that main story quest line as it will most likely lead you to the best XP route. Main story quests give phenomenal XP and I'm sure that that is going to continue to be so um, after 45, right? Uh, so when you're going from 45, you should have had that completed up to the depths point and you probably should have a decent gear set probably from the depths dungeon as well. Uh, so we're just going to assume you're in all of those areas. So now we'll go ahead and hop into the map section here where we'll talk about 45 to 60 leveling route and also some of the priorities that you want to get along the way because it's not going to be just about leveling now. It's going to be about getting yourself set up for end game as fast as possible, right? All right, so let's go ahead and dive into that. All right, here we are on the new world dash map website, we are going to go ahead and take a look at our ideal path here. So since we are 45 and we did just complete the story for the depths over here in the Restless Shore, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have this waypoint and a couple of other things. Um, and this is the point in which you will want to do a few things. So you have a few options here. You can make your way up to Morningdale. There are some pvp quests and a specific zone up here that's really good for grinding called scorpius this is a level 50 elite zone a lot of the monsters here are the like partially destroyed corrupted where that you know they don't have legs and they just kind of crawl on the ground uh so they're really nice to farm because their attacks are very telegraphed they don't have a lot of health and uh they really just don't do much of anything right uh so you can kind of bully these guys around this area there's also a lot of skeletons or not skeletons but uh, corrupted and things of that nature that are pretty nice xp value so this will probably be a highly contested spot so once again that is scorpius it's going to be a level 50 elite zone so you could probably go here starting 45 and start making bank like serious bank in terms of weapon xp in terms of xp drops you name it like you're gonna get all kinds of things here uh so that's a good place to go for morningdale um there are quests in the area but as you can see morningdale is pretty big and spread out i would not recommend doing much of any of these uh if anything i would probably be looking into any sort of quest lines that would lead you to something in the end game and that's just not this zone right that's not this zone but it is great for that elite grind so it can get you through a lot of times right so 45 onward in my opinion um i guess we'll talk about the other one far down here because this is cutlass it's kind of like a 40 zone i mean you could grind these elites here a little bit but uh it's probably not that good of an idea so 
I, I think really for 45, where you want to be is probably Great Cleave. And there's a big reason for this. In the Eastburn Outpost, there are a series of side quests. Yep, you heard that right. Side quests, not main story quests this time. So these side quests actually will chain into a lot of late game side quests. Uh, the specific reason you would want these is because they will chain into quote unquote legendary weapon quests, right? Uh, we say legendary because they used to be in some of the earlier versions of the game, but now they're qualified as purples, but they're 570 or 580 gear score, I forgot, one of the two, uh, but they're very good, right? They're very good for, like, when you just hit 60, you pop on one of these weapons and you're gonna be hitting so much harder, and it's gonna be a while before you really see, uh, gear score items above 500, above 550 for that matter, uh, because the best you can kind of do is raise your high water mark, which we talked about in previous videos. Go check it out if you haven't already. But in short summary, it's an average gear score that you've equipped total for the game. So if you raise that water mark up um, by having high gear score items on at some point in time, then you will get better loot. Uh, so basically, it's going to be a while before you can creep your gear score high water mark up from 500 to 550, then from 550 to 500 to 600 eventually. But it's going to be quite some time, so this will be a good filler weapon. It also has like a massive quest line that'll allow you to, uh, <clears throat> you know, do a lot of things in the area, get a lot of other um, good items like high level jewelry, like 570 jewelry. It may be green or blue or something, but it's still pretty good. I know that there's a like a 580 necklace that's purple and some other things like that. So this is going to be a good place to start for that and it'll chain into a lot of things so you can just get it all done early. So Eastburn Outpost, you need to head here, you need to collect the quests from here. I think there's also some in Cleve's Point, but basically you need to do every single side quest in Great Cleave. And it's going to run you down here in this little 41 corrupted zone, it's going to have you kill some people over here, go to the middle of the map go up to the top part of the map, all that stuff. That's all good that you want to do. Um, another good standout zone in Great Cleave is this area right here. This is called uh, Civican's Strand. Oh man, Stand? I, I probably butchered that one. But anyways, uh, that's a good place to go. It's got a lot of level 50 elite corrupted. It's also one of the um, quest areas that it wants you to go to for the, like the level 60 quest later on. Uh, so basically you can farm there and kill quite a few things if you wish. <clears throat> There's also the PvP mission in this zone, which is still good to run. Even at 45, it probably will still be decent, as you could just kind of run north from Eastburn, pick up a few things, and then head back and get it done in 4 minutes and like 10 seconds. And uh, you get quite a bit of faction points and a decent chunk of XP as well there. Um, other than that, in Great Cleave, there is like level 60 elites, but they're kind of hard in this area. Maybe at like 55, you could venture in there and clear out some, but they're mainly for quests later, so I would probably not recommend that. Uh, the other side thing that you do want to get done is going to be you want to start on Eden's Grove. Like the quests here in Valor Hold, I think there might be some quests in Last Stand. It'll lead you up there eventually, but I believe they all start in Valor Hold. And it wants you to do things like visit a few areas around the map and just kind of... Uh, you know, kill some random angry earth and learn about the story in the area. Eventually, these quests and Valor Hold will lead you to be able to get tuning orbs for the Garden of Genesis and also start you off on some other quests in Shattered Mountain, which we will talk about later. But basically, you want to do all these side quests in this area as they will lead to tuning orbs for Garden of Genesis, which is a late game dungeon. This is like the second best dungeon in the game that we know of. Uh, so the only thing that's better than this dungeon is Lazarus, and Lazarus has a one week cooldown on the orbs, whereas Garden has a three, um, three day a week cooldown. Uh, type deal or three you can make three per week uh, so this is going to be a really strong staple dungeon for everybody to run and farm gear i'm talking legendaries i'm talking everything like that but uh, we'll go into that more in like a end game like guide later on but anyway so doing these quests here is really good uh, because one it's going to get you xp from the side quests you're going to need to do them anyways eventually so you might as well be getting experience like while you're doing it right as opposed to doing it at 60 and having to backtrack where you get no experience you're just getting a little bit of coin for turning it in you might as well go ahead and get that process started 
Um, and so that's going to be the theme for like 45 to 60, right? It's going to be preparation for the end game and doing things that are efficient for the end game. Could you get to level 60 faster by just grinding elites? Yes. Yes, you can. You can definitely get to level 60 faster by grinding elites and doing town boards only, right? Uh, and also portals. But that is, uh, you know, it's maybe not advised to do that because you do want to get these quests out of the way so you don't have to backtrack and do them. Um, and also on the topic of portals, I did forget a small mention. There are several portals in Morningdale. It's actually quite a nice place. There are also portals in Great Cleave, so that's a good thing to check out as well. All right. Now that we have talked about Eden's Grove, we've mentioned a good bit about the XP that's available in Morningdale. So the way to look at it really is Great Cleave and Eden's Grove are going to be quest areas. You need to get quests done there. So do that first and then see kind of where you're at. And if you realize that you need more XP, then you can start looking at Morningdale portals and Scorpius grind and stuff like that. Um, and then just make sure you're keeping up with the town boards along the way. And I think that should get you pretty much there. There are a few other side spots that you can do. Um, so starting in, uh, well, let, actually let's go in order. Let's go to uh, Ebon Scale because we didn't talk about this area too much. Um, but I will say that there's not much here. Um, it's kind of a weird town. It basically, it leads into a dungeon that's at 55 called the uh, Dynasty Shipyard. It's okay, uh, but the grind is not like the best in the world. You could do a quest chain here to get the Dynasty Shipyard orb if there is something you want to specifically target out of this dungeon, but from what I saw so far in the closed beta and through like limited testing was that the Dynasty Shipyard just seemed to drop gear that was like okay, but just not quite in-game gear but kind of good so if you're looking for something to mix it up i would say do dynasty shipyard there are quests in the ebon scale reach town that comes from the lady at the bottom i forgot her name but she's on ground level uh but basically she will give you a quest to go to the dynasty shipyard which will give you a second tuning orb and uh, there are some other quests in different areas actually that want you to go to the dynasty shipyard and that may be part of the main story quest so if it is then I would recommend heading to this area at some point. We just don't know where the main quest is going to lead, but it might make sense to go to the Dynasty Shipyard since it is a 55 zone. So I would definitely come here and make sure you check that out. Um, I've went all over this place. I didn't see any particularly good grinding spots from what I could see. They have a lot of like ghosts, lost, and animals in this area. So there's like tons of like tigers and things like that. Um, alligators, um, oh, speaking of alligators, there is a quest in this town that gives you, uh, it's very easy to do. You just have to go a little south here and you kill like a couple alligators and skin them. And if you do, you get a free tier four bag, which is really nice. It's a heavy bag. Like it gives a lot of stuff. Um, it's green and it has random enchantments on it. So good luck. You could get something awesome. You could get something terrible. <laughs> it just kind of depends on how that all goes. Uh, but other than that, this Western area is mostly level 60 stuff, so I would probably avoid that. Um, I wouldn't recommend questing here as the travel point and everything is very far. You'll be wandering through this jungle and up mountains and all kinds of stuff, so it's just not a great time. So maybe just doing the quest from the bottom uh, floor lady and just kind of getting a Dynasty Shipyard orb and then hitting up Dynasty Shipyard when you're on the main story quest would probably be a good route to go. Uh, so that's going to lead us into our final area, which is going to be Reek Water, which we're talking about here. So quest, so leveling from like 45 to 60, you can do that. And this might be a spot that I'm going to go to, this particular area right here, uh, Virid Grotto. I did a little video over it in the money-making guide uh, that I did a while back, but it is a nice spot. So if you can sneak in either through Restless or something, you can get to this area. There's a bunch of Angry Earth here. They are all non-elite and they are very easy to kill. They take a lot of fire damage. They're also like the like suicide exploding type guys. Uh, so they're basically going to probably kill themselves at some point. But if you can kill them, they have low health bars. So it's a nice place to farm. Uh, there's another decent place to farm over here. Maybe at like level 45, there's a lot of these elite bears, which you can get good XP for. And they also drop really good uh, mining materials when you mine them and quintessence too, um, certain earth quintessence and stuff like that. So 
right up probably right at that 55 area you could consider going here and starting some of that end game grind if you wanted to mix it up there's also quests in the reek water town that i would probably recommend doing too maybe around 50 you could come here and start or sorry 55 at 55 you can come here and start doing quests because you will need to do these quests in reek water town um some of them require you to kind of go around the map and do different things and go up to the north here in the ship uh flight comb um you will need a few ingredients like i believe it was travel rations and something else you have to turn into a lady up there so make sure you have those on you um sorry not travel rations uh the meals or whatever travel well maybe it's travel ration yeah travel ration uh so be sure to kind of uh keep note of that but these quests will give you uh the opportunity to get an additional lazarus tuning orb which is something you're going to want anyways and then it will also give you the ability to get an eternal pool tuning orb which is the protector's arena and the siren strand so there's going to be quite a lot of uh tuning orbs that you can kind of get from this reek water quest zone to set yourself up for late game i would just say do what you can in this area and like do the 55 kind of quests and stuff because it will give you quite a decent boost and kind of get you up there too um so yeah i think there is one final final real final area that we should talk about and that's gonna be shattered mountain uh so getting this teleport over here is very nice uh, the one to the right is also good. So at some point when you're, you know, doing stuff in Great Cleave, if you want to venture up and just grab the TP from the town, that's probably good to do. Um, but this zone you can start doing at probably 55 as well. It will be a little difficult, but there are several good things here. There's elite mobs you could grind. Um, over in the east side here, there's a bunch of low health, angry earth type people. You can uh, kill them pretty easily too, but just be aware that some of them do blight stuff, so that could be bad. So watch out for the blight affliction. Um, and then, you know, you do also have a lot of quests in these areas, and I would get started on these. So again, this is another one in that 55 plus range. Maybe a little bit sooner if you feel comfortable, but I would really recommend 55. You can start knocking out some of these quests, but you need people for these. You need groups. Like, you need a five-man or something. Uh, because these guys in these zones are not easy. You have to go to these, like, little towers, and there's so many of them in there. There's only one entrance. It's walled off. They keep respawning. It's a, it's crazy. It's like a nightmare. Um, and then the final note is if you want the last rank of the faction quest, which is something you may want to do along the way to increase your faction rank, uh, that would be here. So basically you're going to have to go into this East Illumarin Illum or whatever this is called. And there's going to be a guy that you have to kill right here where my cursor is. I believe he's right on this note. The quest objective will tell you it's right here where this little portal is. Don't, uh, don't do that. It's a lie. It's actually over here. It's right here in this area. Uh, so make sure you go there and you get your final faction rank unlocked, which will allow you to start getting enough faction cap points to where you can purchase that 550 gear score items if you want at level 60. So it's the decent thing to do, right? So you can get this done kind of quick. I believe the quest also gives pretty good XP as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much this area. It's mostly level 60 stuff. So like it's, if it's not a quest, don't do it. And if you're going to do it in this area, make sure you have five people because it's going to be, um, a little hard, especially at level 55. So yeah, looking over everything, I pretty much think that covers it all. There's really not much else to do other than that. So, um, in summary, follow the main story quest. It's going to take you to, um, you know, it's going to take you to places after 45. We don't know what that's going to be, but ideally go into those areas. Make sure you're keeping up with your town boards. As always, I'll say it again, town board, town board, town board. Make sure you're keeping up with that so that every, you know, 30 minutes, every hour, you can turn in a nice set and get good XP boost. Then you want to start doing quests to get progress in Great Cleave starting at 45. If you're like 45, 50, you could start in Eden's Grove. And if you're 55 plus, you can start in Shattered Mountain and Reek Water. And then as a side optional right around the level 50 range, you could go to the 
ebb and scale and start some of the quests for the dynasty shipyard but i would not recommend doing much more at besides that unless uh the main story quest for some reason directs you to this area in which case okay well we just have to do it because it's a main story quest right um the other couple like experience that you could get with that to add in would be the scorpius grinding elite spot this is a fantastic spot for level 50 highly recommend this one um, you can also do portals in Morningdale. You can do portals in Great Cleave. These are 45 portals. Do not attempt any level 65 portals. You will die. Like, trust me, you'll just die. <laughs> uh, you could try to do it if you feel like you're super brave, but like, honestly, it's really not going to work. Um, oh yeah, there is a small area that you could do like Erendus down here. There's elite angry earth, like 50, uh, 45. So it could be a grind spot, like pretty early if you want to do it, but I probably wouldn't go too hard on that one um and then yeah that that's pretty much it so you know make sure you check out that area you're getting your quests done your prereqs done for a lot of the tuning orbs and you're kind of setting yourself up to be in a good in-game position so that when you get there you're not just like oh now i have to do all these quests and i get no xp for them well that was kind of a waste right like that's the thing that you want to avoid so again it's not about rushing to 60 it's about getting to 60 with the right quest progress done, right? That's all it's going to be about. Um, also, quick side note on that, I would highly recommend saving your in-game tuning orbs like Garden and Lazarus and all that stuff until you get higher gear score because that will scale with your gear and you don't want to waste a tuning orb. They're going to be very precious. So be careful who you go with in those dungeons. Be careful what your gear score is and make sure you're set up for success. All right. Uh, thanks everybody for watching the video. I do appreciate that. If you enjoyed the video, or you found it helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. We also have a join button. If you really like the video, you could consider joining us. Tons of cool badges, emojis, perks, and membership things um, in that section. So you could check that out. And if you're interested, we also have a Discord where you can chat with like-minded members of the community. You could help find yourself a group or a company or somebody to play with on launch. Uh, we have all kinds of things in there. You could also just generally chat with me too. I chime in all the time. So make sure to check that out in the description and we will catch you in the next video.